Namaste. Welcome to Forgotten Foods and Recipes. Today we will make flower chutney. Yes, full bunny chutney. This recipe comes from a fellow farmer, Anand Bhoyar of Gaukus, Vidarbha in Maharashtra. The chutney is super easy to make and goes along with a variety of foods. From millet bhakris to wheat rotis to dips for lavashes, this is the real Avenger chutney. Roselle is a gorgeous looking superfood. It's also known as English sorel. Roselle, sorel, tongue twist yourself. Ambadi, gongura, pitwa, khatta palanga are some of the names it's called by throughout India. All parts of the plant can be used. It's the easiest to grow. Seeds are broadcasted at the beginning of monsoon. They germinate easily and grow profusely. They are climate resilient super crops that help the farmer tide over eco uncertainties. Leaves and flowers have a sour tangy taste and make for delicious vegetables and chutney. So, chalo, let's make some chutney. Here are the ingredients Roselle flowers, washed. Peel the petals and pat them dry. Here we have a small bowl full of these. The following ingredients can be used as per your preference. Half inch of ginger, 3 to 4 petals of garlic, teaspoonful of grated jaggery or good of similar amount if it's whole. Teaspoonful of red chilli powder. You can also use green chilli. It depends upon how much heat you want in the chutney. 2 tablespoons of fresh curry leaves. You can also use dry ones like the ones you see here. One tablespoon of oil and salt to taste. In a pan, pour the oil, add the petals and the curry leaves in it. Saute lightly for a minute or two. Turn the gas off and cool it. Look at the beautiful colors. Put this mix into a grinder. Add all the above ingredients and give it a good power crush in the mixie. I like my chutney to be a bit coarse in texture. It depends on you. If you want, you can fine grind it to a smoother paste. It tastes yummy either ways. Here's a tip. Roasted cumin powder goes well with the chutney. And there you go, your chutney is ready. The chutney is packed with nutrition. How many? Brace your seat belts, bhaiyo or behno. It's a rich source of iron and folic acid. Good for your menstrual health, ladies. Minerals such as calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, that's fab for your bones. Vitamins A and C, that's good for your immunity. Vitamin B6, that's good for your heart. It has good fiber and is suitable for diabetics and it relieves you of constipation. Wow! It tastes spicy and tangy. It's super easy and super nutritious. This is an Avenger chutney, guys. Our fellow farmers would say, Ek number. So do make it and share your comments below. Until the next time, goodbye from Forgotten Foods and Recipes.